Hi, sunshines. Welcome back to our channel, Mad Curls. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lorianne. And in this video today, we are going to be showing you how we get our sleek hairstyle, how we slick our curls down. Um, obviously, our hair is two different lengths, so I will be doing a sleek ponytail or a sleek bun, and my mom will just be slicking all of her hair completely down. Um, mm -hmm. Ma, where'd you come up with that slick hairdo? You said you used to do it back in... When I first big chopped, chopped, and it wasn't long enough to really curl, or I didn't have a confidence to really curl, because it was going to be really, really tight curls, and I just wasn't there yet. So I would just be very comfortable just getting some sort of echo gel and slicking it back. It wasn't even enough to bring into a ponytail. So I would just kind of maybe use combs or bobby pins or whatever towards the back. And that's how I did it for months until it started growing. Awesome! So mm -hmm. that is what we are doing today. So if you would like to see how we get our sleek hairstyle, what we do when, at least for me, when my wash and go is kind of looking tired, I'll put it back. Um, we wear this to church. It's kind of like your quick go-to. Mm -hmm. So if you would like to see how we slick our hair down, then just please keep watching. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wet the front of my hair. I always do this dry so my ponytail will be nice and fluffy in the back. Yes. Thank you for switching water bottles because I wanted mine to match with what I had on today. <laughs> she took my water bottle. I certainly did. So I'm just spraying the front. Do you feel like it has to be drenched to do this style? Yours? Not mine, but just, just, just anyone that's doing this. Does it have to be drenched, do you think? I feel like, yes, if your hair is curly, you want to get those bumps out. Okay. Another thing that I did this morning um, before we got on camera was I put on the, let's see, hold on, get my glasses, the Camille Rose, it's a balm, it's a growth balm, and I did that because the tension, it makes, I don't like to use a, um, a bore brush, which is what I'm going to have to do to really have that slick look, and I'm going to have to use this rat tooth comb, so I don't like to do that, so just for protection, it's, um, growth and shine balm so I kind of put that around my edges just so you know how sometimes people's edges just kind of like frizzle frazzle away I just felt like this is some sort of protection so I kind of just put it all around my edges so that um I don't know I feel like it's doing something okay so now I'm going to take a wide tooth comb and do my part it's so funny I typically wear my hair flipped to the left but when I do my ponytail, I like it slick to the right. Really? Yeah, I don't know. Odd. Okay. You know that is. You gotta be careful with this part because my hair is curled. Don't want to break my hair off. And then after you part, what do you do? Do I put in product in? Yes, I put in a little bit of um, conditioner. I found this in the bathroom <laughs> the other day and it really worked for me when I slicked my hair down so I'm gonna use it again it's the dark and lovely moisture lock lock it in sealing cream I just put a little bit of that in my hair is actually still kind of dry so you're going to put the as I am I see you have here um, is this the smoothing gel mm -hmm. just around the edges all, all through your hair um, just around the front of my hair Okay, um, I think I'm going to start with maybe a smidgen. I don't know. I love products. I love the way it smells. Oh, yeah, it smells good. I love the way it feels. And this just helps with the smoothing process, just using like any type of conditioner, mm -hmm. something with some moisture smoothing properties in it. Right. All right, just make sure my part is there. And then I'll also very, very lightly take this wide tooth comb and just kind of brush it through just to break up, kind of like up and down like that, break up those curls a little bit mm. on the top of my hair. I'm not looking for 100% perfection. I mean, if you have super curly hair, it's, it's near impossible to smooth your hair completely down. So, yeah. and I'm not trying to break all my hair off, trying to smooth it down. Right. Because I don't wear this style I mean, you often. have to keep it in perspective, what you have, how curly your hair is, and how really straight it's going to be it's not going to be bone 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 straight but it's still going to look very sleek mm -hmm. but you have yep. to have the right expectations so I don't run this brush all the way through just kind of on the top because that's the part that I want to be smooth right right now I'm going to take a little bit of the as I am smoothing gel start smoothing it down smooth the top 
definitely start smoothing those sides. Mm -hmm. Hold on, let me borrow that wide tooth comb. I'm going to take a bristle brush. I actually like to wet it a little bit. If I were in the bathroom, I would just run it under the sink, but since we're here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so anytime I come to pieces that don't have any sort of gel on it, I just kind of run gel through it just so that when I actually start pulling it back with the brush, it just kind of goes into place better. Because it is so curly and it is short and I just want it to work for me. So now I'm just starting to smooth the top of my hair down, make sure that my part is where I like it. And this brush is actually soft. It's a bristle brush, but I feel like it's been broken in, so it's pretty soft, which I like. Because I don't want anything that's going to be breaking my edges off. <laughs> we look like a Sephora backdrop. <laughs> So now, I always like the sophisticated look of um, a very sleek bun. I am but it has to be sleek. It has to be every hair accounted for. I don't like pieces of hair stuck up looking crazy. I'm sweating. <laughs> My huh? face is probably turning red. Huh? It's a workout. It is. Okay, now the moment of <gasps> truth. Pulled it through. Okay. And then okay. I just tighten. Huh. And I fan myself. <laughs> echo gel. I love echo gel. It has a very nice consistency. It's very thick. And I like it. And now <laughs> is just the part. Oh, I love the way the smell of this feels. It's so inexpensive. It's unbelievable. Yeah, I'm about to get my echo gel popping too. Yeah. Is where I do all the the little trimming so I'll start fixing my baby hairs my front it just starts going down like it really does got my little toothbrush oh look I got a toothbrush in here now I take the Darko <laughs> Eco Gel Darko the darker Eco Gel I believe it's the protein one for like those parts in the front of my hair mm -hmm. that want to just peek through so I never of. cared for that in the front because I like definition. I like to see scalp because that's normal. To have your head like a helmet, just like all black straight across to me, I never cared for that look. So I never did the black in the front. Because it's like, where's your scalp? Where's the definition? Okay, here we go. Let's see. This is the part, I think, for me that takes the longest. <laughs> Trying to make sure the front of my hair looks good. And with this combination, the Eco Gel and the As I Am, mm -hmm. I used it the other day and we drove like an hour with the windows down, my hair stayed down, I took a nap in it, <laughs> my hair stayed down. Um, so this is a really great combination especially the as I am um, smoothing gel so my hair has really grown because when I cut it this was not possible right here this little ponytail thing and it's even shorter because I had to pull it to the front but this is um, this is good this is very good now when I was a little bit more careless with my hair I probably would have taken the the bristle brush and just taking it and slicked it back but I'm not going to do that because I just don't like the sound or the cracking and the popping of my hair as it's going through that bristle brush so I will get it in the style the and you know the height of where I want my ponytail to be and then that will be the last step I'll put a little bit more echo gel and then just kind of um, slick that back so it's, it's less bristle brush on my hair as possible and then I will take oops these two little elastics, like goody elastics. Uh, I'm like so anal about the front of my hair. Yeah, the elastics to hold it in place. And then I'll have like the little decorative, I call it a telephone cord, just to kind of put it on for decoration because it's cute. All right. And so depending on how 
I'll say busted. The rest, <laughs> the rest of my hair is like the back, this part, because I'll typically do it on like a day four or five of my wash and go. So depending on how like crazy the back of my hair looks is whether I'll twist it up and put it into a bun. So all I'll basically do is just take it, twist it, and bun it, and that's it. But I'm liking my curls today, so they can stay out. And I came across this on Amazon one day. It's Sunny Isle and it's the um, Edge Hair Gel. And to me, this is one of the best hair gels. The consistency of it is very nice. It's a little thicker to me than the frizz-free ones, perhaps, or what other ones out, out there? Palmer's has some. I mean, they all make the, the Edge Gels. But this one, to me, had its own kind of special consistency. Very inexpensive. Got it on the Amazon. And I like it. So I took out the heavy-duty one today. And put these on put this on my edges <laughs> okay and then last but not least now I don't make a defined part because I don't like the defined part look but what I do do is take the brush and kind of move it to the side of how I want it to look without actually parting it so what was here <laughs> Sleek. So yeah. this is the final look. This is how we slick our hair down mm -hmm. for our sleek look. Mm -hmm. We have hot dates tonight. Right, I wish. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you so much for watching our video and we'll see you in our next video. <laughs> Bye. Bye-bye.